punch that bitch in the face. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. See ya. Inhale. What? Wow, that new music too. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? You just Rick here, and I bet you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, I thought I was never gonna see him play this game again. <laughs> well, let's look at this uh, new Saints Haven, though, guys. I've just been poured. Where am I, actually? Uh, but first time I've actually seen the new Saints Haven. This was a new update that they have. And let me just say the biggest thing right here is the logical placement of the castle. It, when it was in the middle, I had to say it was very, very, very dumb to walk around that castle. But anyway, guys, we got some fucking... This town is humongous. Much more fitting for a main sort of town. I don't know if this is the end game. I would assume it'd be the end game again. Um, you know, for a little while, Lotus March was the end game. So they got this giant thing in the middle. Ooh. This is a much bigger castle, or the castle looks a lot more majestic in this, like, tower thing. Let's see. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, ooh. What? A New dragon mounts? I've been missing out. I think I have a horse. I have a horsey somewhere. I have a chestnut. Still not as cool as Mr. Dragon, though. Alright, screw it, guys. Let's go do a dungeon. Hey, yo! Whoa! whoa, whoa. New achievement. Okay. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? You just Rick here, and we're going to be jumping into the crash site perimeter on Master Difficulty. Now, excuse me. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay, my... I was scared my hotkeys were going to be messed up, but excuse me for a bit as I try to remember the hotkeys to this game, because as you guys know, I've been playing a whole bunch of other uh, C9 and stuff like that, and the, my controls are used to that, so... Stuff like the pickup button and my hotkeys or something I gotta get used to. And this is literally the first time I, I, I remember playing this. So. so, anyway, guys. Uh, we are playing right now on my... Uh, mercenary? <laughs> I'm just calling him Berserker. My mercenary class. And this is actually one of my strongest PvE classes. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. He's one of my strongest, at least. And... Mostly because I geared him out in, like, all this agility gear, I remember. Because I remember agility gave, like, crit... And so I stacked him in, like, full crit, and he was hitting pretty hard. I don't know if that was the best thing to do uh, in retrospect, but he's probably my most geared guy. I really wanted to use this guy for PvE, and I should start by saying that's what I intend to do with this game as we wait for Dungeon Fighter Online. And I think I might just be sticking to the PvE guys, because I've heard some tips from a few of my old guildies, and they're saying that, yeah, this game is... You know, a lot of people are just sticking to the PvE, and there are a lot of geared people. And I'm okay with that. You know, I've always advocated that C9, or excuse me, DFO has a very good PvE system. And uh, I'm all for that, you know. PvE was very fun in this game, so. Gonna be sticking to that. We are still level 50, so. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Well, we're still level 50, so I have a lot of work cut out for me in terms of leveling up, but hopefully I'll have a little bit of things to do. I'm probably not doing this very efficiently right now. Try to turn my buff back on. And man, this I already I've already done a dungeon on hard difficulty, just kinda as a test run and shoot. Master difficulty is like a lot harder. Wow. Difficulty spike, or at least the damage increase went up tremendously. Yeah Budding. That skill's like level one so it's not doing very much damage. God these guys are tanky as shit. Really nice thing. At least with the lower level dungeons, they were giving me a ton of, like, HP things. You know, HP items and MP items. I could just spam forever. And bad bad news that my weapon seems to be about to break. Totally forgot about their ability being a thing. Mm. Jesus, these guys are so tanky, dude. Okay. Really am I apparently not geared to solo this yet. I thought I was so freaking ready for this. At least I was in the master difficult or hard difficulty. Okay, got no items there. Just looking. And one thing I've never gotten used to about this game is the fact that you have to kill all of these mobs. You have to do it. All right, screw it. We're gonna we're gonna mob these guys up. Start using our ultimate. I don't know why I've been take waiting this long to use it. It should always be off cooldown. Or on cooldown. Excuse me. Bing. And I got it. If I did nothing else, I completed the commission. <laughs> Not looking good for my durability, weapon durability at all. 
Not looking good for my whole entire life. This is a really bad idea. Guys, why did I do this without checking my durability? I don't think I've leveled up the the whirlwind. Definitely leveled this up though. That shit does serious damage. Oh man, these guys are freaking annoying, man. They should not make these guys this tanky if if they don't get like cool thing about mobs like uh, regular mobs and aren't like this is that they follow you so you can it's effectively you can group them up these I gotta attack them each individually which is very very annoying obviously now you're probably wondering hey Rick why don't you use X weapon cuz I don't like to <laughs> I've always liked a hammer I don't care how slow it is it it feels awesome using this thing okay finally and I don't think I'm gonna make it to the end, guys. There's the end right there. Can I make it without my weapon breaking? I sure hope so. Ultimate is not back up. Mm. For some reason, I feel that move should do more damage. Oh man, it's zero durability. I fucking knew it. Um, I suppose I still can do just a lot of base damage, but I think everything I have is broken. Which is just not doing me any favors right now. I'm just gonna try to keep going, guys, and we'll see if we can. I don't, I'm not sure if my weapon is broken, but at least a lot of my gear is, so if I die for sure, my weapon's gonna be broken. Right now, it feels like it's okay, though. Damn, that's such a rookie mistake, Rick. First thing you do on this game, and you fuck it up. You see that combo I just did that guy? I still- I used to PvP with this guy, if, if it wasn't, uh, if you guys didn't know that. I, am, I was actually pretty good, too. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't as good as my Crusader or anything like that, but hell, I could kill some people with this guy. Seriously. Oh my god. Okay, I'm pretty sure my weapon is super broken right now. Let me just keep gi giving me that buff because it gives like flat damage increase, and so that way, I suppose even if I had no damage, it was doing something. This is going to be annoying to you, dude. Oh, okay, just just trudge along. Once I get to the boss room, all I got to do is just fuck him up, right? I suppose that's what I would have done anyway. Just, just fucking kill these things. Ah! Okay, got to look for some... Man. I like how, like, some items in this game, like, give a decrease of stats. Like... It'll be minus 30% MP. It's like poison food or something. It's like, yeah, that's what you get for spamming picking up items. It's like the poison mushroom in Mario. It's like, yeah, don't pick it up, you bitch. You thought it was a power up. I think that one is actually very good. The bone crash or whatever is great for when you hit with the skill that has a ton of hits, like this one. Because it does basically extra damage for every hit that you do onto it. So if you have like an axe or something that has, you know, a lot of hits on it. It's just more beneficial to hit with a lot of hits. I'm assuming the ultimate skill when you use that. Probably be the best time. Gosh, this is such a pain. I mean, if he's not getting any attack, I can understand if he was attacking back, but literally he's just like a punching back for a good 10 minutes. Make that guy weaker, please. All right, guys, we're in the boss room. dun 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 uh, I do have the official music on right now, so if you're wondering what that is... Oh, let's put on the Bone Crash real quick and then try out my theory. Oh shit. Well, I just died in hell. My weapons didn't break, so I'm assuming they're already broken. Which is... Uh, actually very bad for me. Because <laughs> I am only gonna die even more now. I'm doing even less damage now, or...? I have an odd... I have an odd feeling. I, I've done this before in the past, where this happened. The same exact thing happened. Where my weapons and shit broke. Anyway, screw it. We're gonna kill this guy though, fuck this. I don't care if we're doing no damage. Oh shit, don't, don't, that killed me last time. <laughs> Let's use this thing and then the whirlwind again. This seems to do a ton of damage. And by ton, I mean like 10. Oh god. I punch that bitch in the face, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. See ya, in hell. What? Should that actually miss? I'm dead now. I'm dead now? I guess not. Okay, still good. Uh, Wow, she didn't hit me with any of that. Again. 
I am fucking beasting on this bit. Yeah, halfway there. Not really, a third way there. Okay, let's get- I at least want to hit this whirlwind before you kill me in hell. Okay, got it off again. God, such a rookie mistake, huh? And no mana, so good thing that she killed me. Here we go. Spin to win, right here, baby. And you know what? Just for good measure, spin again. Got him. I'm almost certainly going to beat this no matter what because I'm just going to keep doing those two combos to do at least some amount of damage every time I die. <laughs> so I'm going to do that shit I just did again. Upset this time, I don't think I actually hit her. She teleported or something? Doesn't matter. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, guys, for fucking this up. Seems like it should have hit me like... 500 times already. Oh, okay. Well, that was enough. Let's see if we can kill her this time without dying. Hit her with this. Hit her with the. <laughs> Shouldn't have jumped over. The last hit is what does the real damage since I actually played this character. No, no, no. That's the attack is killing me. I guess the key is to not stand in front of her. That's where the tornadoes come and fucking kill you in hell. Bing. Okay. I missed it. And ba-ding. Okay, well. Time to be a cheap bitch, Mike. It took five lives, but guys, guess what's happened? I missed with the Bone Breaker, so I'm not going to get the extra damage. Blender? That was awesome. Here, let's finish off with this. Mmm, bitch. Okay. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry, I, ex I artificially extended this video way longer than it needed to be because, once again, Deja Vu strikes and I forgot to like, repair my damn weapons. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. 13 minutes, and I will catch you guys later.